You're, you're, you're cutting out. Yeah, I know I am. I've been uh -oh. trying to make it where nobody can hear themselves through my headset, because what the fuck is the point of having a headset if they can just hear themselves through it? Um, yeah. And unfortunately, this means I have to turn down my microphone, uh, turn down my sound. Like, currently, through my headset, I have you at about 15%. Crazy. So, I've just been having a bunch of problems with my headset. Uh, I ordered a new one. Hopefully, it's $115 well spent. Mm-hmm. But, if it's not, fuck. Hello, Master Shadow. Oh, stream up. God, it's been so long since I've been Uh, well, okay, I actually, I'm gonna be a hundred, tired as shit, and I have a towel on my head. But, uh, no, I didn't. Uh, I am opening up the stream right now. For those unaware, for why I've been so gone, my sleep schedule decided to fuck itself over harder than Tony Hawk's Pony Hawk Pro Skater 5. Uh, I just happened to be up today because strep throat said I wasn't allowed to sleep. <laughs> So yes, Master Shadow, I am. Um, I was kind of going through, I guess, uh, memory lane yesterday with uh, some people in the Cloud Palace, and I stumbled upon a bunch of old card game stuff that I did. And I'm like, wouldn't it be really cool if I actually just sat down and tried revitalizing that card game again? We'll see how far I get this time. Um. Oh. Did you see? Oh, wait, no. You probably haven't, but I'm going to ask anyways. But Mr. Mister Tano released his uh, review of the new Eminem album. Oh, boy. Uh, it's, he like he's, uh, I mean, it's a strong five. It's definitely better than Revival and Kamikaze. Kind of but, a similar that I did. but I will say, if a strong five is what he considers a decent improvement, that's kind of upsetting. <laughs> yeah, understandable. <laughs> like, yeah, five is objectively better than a four. Ha! <laughs> And it's all okay, because the new Mac Miller got an 8. What up, bitch? The Mac Miller fan redemption arc has officially been complete. Let me whip my hair back. Ugh, there we go. What else? Um, the cops. Yep. The the police. The police. 
these are some old, this is like an old card game that I made, I'm, as I said, revitalizing it, so. It's the sound of the police. It's the sound of the police. Um, I guess while we're here, I have an interpolation I feel everyone should know about. First of all, here's a story. Because I've had strep throat, swallowing is the worst goddamn thing since when I recently learned my great-grandmother's in the hospital. Um... <clears throat> ah, so I have been spitting into a bottle <laughs> for the past two days, and I was uh, <laughs> I was morbidly curious, and I was talking to my friends. And I was like, "What if I sold it? Do you think anybody would buy gamer girl spit in a bottle?" <laughs> Then, as the bottle almost got full, I got fucking disgusted with it, so I threw it out. <laughs> I had this funny moment, though. Um, I had a moment where I was like, I was in a call with a few people, and I was like, hey guys, what if, what if I drank it? And they were like, do not no, do that. That is do disgusting. Not actually do that. And I was like, don't worry, I'm not going to do that. I'm not fucking stupid. Like, seriously, who would ever do that? And then I just grabbed my actual water bottle and just went. And some of them in the call actually were scared that I was doing it. <laughs> and it was the funniest fucking shit. Ah, <sighs> okay. So. This bit is over. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah, and you know what, next bit actually relates to interpolation I was referring to a minute ago. This is, this is an interpolation from a, from a powerful poet. I respect them. I don't even know what their name is. Uh, but it goes something like this. <clears throat> Society isn't ready for me. I am a woman. I am gay. I have severe depression. I think killing people is bad. I want to fuck anime women with large breasts. My teeth are so sharp, sometimes I wound myself. I have never had a job as employers are too afraid to hire me. I once slept on an unmade mattress for six months. I cannot reproduce as my uterus is only capable of spawning demons. I am pl plagued by frequent back pain. I am so sexy, God had to handicap me by making me explicitly gay and giving me debilitating social anxiety so I could not fuck the entire population. My legs don't always work. I can't watch mainstream TV shows because they are... They are unrelatable and i am just too cool to understand i have rabies sometimes i cry when i see women because they are beautiful i use internet terms in my everyday speech and nobody knows what the fuck i am talking about my brain is poisoned by the information age i have gone two months without leaving my house before i want to single-handedly fight all the billionaires in the world i stand luna i no longer have any desire to change any of these factors i love myself one day i will overthrow god millennials fear me zoomers want me what I have, and boomers want me dead. Like and share if you relate. Smiley face. I definitely don't relate to very much of that. <laughs> That's fair. Mainly because you have to have a very <clears throat> high self-esteem in order to relate to that. <laughs> and everyone knows I don't got that. Not necessarily. I have... Honestly... With the multiple things about debilitating social anxiety or severe depression, this is less self-esteem and more a manic episode. <laughs> My throat is going to fucking blow up. Are you sure it's a good idea to even be on stream then? Oh no, it's fine. I've been uh this is this is day 
Um, what day has it been? Hold on, I can't remember. Just day three. I've gotten used to it. <clears throat> I wanted to talk about speaking speaking of my strep throat. I uh. I've I have a beef with the college system. I messaged both of my instructors. Hey, I have a strep throat. I am weak as shit. And I'm not gonna be able to get shit done. And I get one teacher respond back like, Oh yeah, you can have a couple days. Just like let me know when it's done. Okay. Sorry you're not feeling good. And the other one's like, Well, I'm sorry you're not feeling good. I don't accept late work unless you're in the fucking hospital, bitch. <laughs> Are y'all crazy? The fuck is wrong with y'all? Say like those parents back in the day who are like, if your arm isn't gashing blood, who gives a shit? Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Hello, Welsh Night of Darkness. Welcome to the chat. Enjoy your stay. I am Susie Doodle Tones now. Hey, Welsh. Mm. I typically do that whole welcome or welcome to the chat. Hope you enjoy your stay. But on their first time in the chat, Welsh is not a new face. Oh. Huh. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> Trying to steal my steak. You don't even do it right. Hello, <laughs> 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 Rare Yokai. So, uh, I got a vinyl of the new Mac Miller. It's going to be coming in August. I don't sure do take a long time, don't they? Oh shit, so shit, listen. It's just, that's, I've just gotten used to it. <laughs> My Acerat vinyl, I ordered that in July and it came in like two weeks ago. <laughs> That's the the Acerap vinyl, sick as fuck though. Fucking disc looks like a goddamn uh, looks like a goddamn indie game. I don't know if I ever showed you showed you, but I went to my sister's baby shower. We had like a baby shower bingo, and I I was the first person to win a bingo, so they gave me a goddamn fucking like baby bottle on a pedestal and it was all spray painted gold and I just thought that was the funniest fucking thing in the world like, props to the baby showers for that one and it's an actual bottle like I I unscrewed the cap of it they didn't even they didn't even make it so you couldn't unscrew the cap you know, and honestly, I vibe so much mad respect.
can't believe Jesus is going to teach me about Minecraft. I mean, Minecraft is going to teach me about Jesus. Either works. <laughs> when the next generation of home consoles arrives that this Christmas, We'll be as far away from the launch of the Xbox 360 as we were from the launch of the Super Famicom when the 360 launched. The 360 is now officially retro. This sucks. I'm suing video games. Magic playing video games. This post has been brought to you by the person who has no fucking time to do shit anymore. Mood. I say that as somebody who's been watching it, or who's been playing a shit ton of Terraria the past couple days. I've been trying to get stuff done. I've only been using these streams to uh, relax and chill a bit. Of course, I'm also getting stuff done, but it's more passion projects and stuff that I actually need to get done. <laughs> Goddamn. Barack Obama. <coughs> How old is he saying he is this year? Because I don't know if I trust him. Hmm? How old is, is he going around saying he is this year? Because I don't know if I trust him. I don't fucking know, B. <laughs> Last year, Obama said he was... Uh... Last year, yeah, okay. Ah, oh, dude. Oh, I misread that. Never mind. You know, last year he said he was fifty-seven, but the year before he said he was fifty-six. Which is it, Obama? God damn, motherfucker. <clears throat> Don't trust that fucker anymore. Lied to us about his age. I was reminded the other day that the Ratatouille soundtrack is just a fucking goat. Yeah. <clears throat> Ratatouille, goaded. <clears throat> what are some other things that are goaded? <clears throat> Sans, goaded. I just realized I was in. Oh shit. What? <laughs> Hold on. Give me a second. Um. <clears throat> Let 
I was in call with my boyfriend. Don't worry, he's asleep. Fucking dumb bitch. <laughs> Gotta rejoin that call on my phone. There, now I'm there. Yeah, you ever just, uh, you know what? I was about to ask a question, but I already know the answer is no. I was gonna say, sometimes I just think about guys, but I yeah. re realize you can't fuck, can't fucking relate. I'm ace. I'm, I'm suspicious to everyone. Shovel. What did I just say? You just said shovel. <laughs> oh. That's fucked up. I mean, it's just the word shovel. Okay, but like, why did I say that? I mean, could I tell you? <clears throat> this sucks. Feet. Master Shadow's got a point. You just figure mm. that something random that you just decide to say. Yeah, I know. Boo. <laughs> it's very common for you to just say the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay. That doesn't mean shit. <clears throat> Just a second. Yeah. Seen comic from his latest commentary? I know it exists, but no, I have not seen it yet. Bitches try to Vietnam.
Oh my god. You know the fucking, you remember that fucking scene from, uh, Sleeping Beauty? Not Sleeping Beauty, Cinderella 3. I haven't watched Cinderella 3 in forever. Probably not. The one where it's like, you cannot go down the stair. And he's like, okay, so he jumps out the fucking window. Someone did that. Someone did that. Except instead of jumping out the window, he Mario long jump into the Mario painting. Uh, he throws Funi. I haven't watched Cinderella three in forever, but all I remember is that it's actually a pretty fucking low key good movie. Yeah. I've heard that. Can we talk about how great seals are? Sure. They're great. I love them. <laughs> Attention. You are not a top. You are not a bottom. You are 14. The bell just rang. Go to class. What? Like, except I'm not 14. I wasn't talking to you, I was talking to the metaphorical 14 year old that's watching the stream right now. You hear me, 14 year old, if you're watching the stream, fuck you! I've just been I've just been vibing on my Twitter feed. There's so much funny stuff. I'm so awesome and cool and I have a massively huge pair of feet. I actually don't. My feet are actually kind of kind of average actually. I got a pretty average feet. If anybody wanna pay me thirty bucks. Jesus fucking Christ. I don't want to pay me 30 bucks. That's that's free feet. <laughs> God damn. Uh. Ah, God left us all to die. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, accurate. God is ashamed of his creation. We should be ashamed for being them. Accurate. Boobs, lol. Also accurate.
Oh. Hey, sorry, I was late. I admit I got caught up in a book. Oh, what's the book about? It's uh, based off a thing I like. Oh, what's the title? We are going to set a McDonald's on fire. Uh, it's, um, <laughs> what about the author? Uh, Pussy Blaster 69. Sometimes I want to set a McDonald's on fire. Why though? Hmm. I wonder if I could kill people. Awesome. You just have to worry about the consequences. You're probably right. Speaking of consequences, um, <clears throat> Uh, I have decided on the new Eminem album, the worst song is Marsh. Okay. Because that one has the worst lines on it. And it makes me want to spit on the floor. Uh, keep it a keep it a buck like the dollar store. Getting head in the bucket, marshmallow. Ooh. Tired. Are you sure you don't want to try to go back to sleep? I might in a bit. I have no opinion on McDonald's as a company because I know nothing about their company practices, but McDonald's sounds like a company that probably sucks. <laughs> With that said, no, it's not a bad thing if you uh, like something, but you know the company's kind of trash. I still like Wendy's food. I become such a drooly baby. I feel like I'm, I'm, I don't know.
I believe. We should eradicate everyone who's not me. Understandable. As long as I'm first. I mean, I guess if you want. I can eradicate everyone at the same time, so I guess everyone could, um, theoretically be first. Oh, understandable. But if you want me to really go the distance, I can zap you, like, a split second before everyone else. If that's what you really feel like that day. Probably. Can I tell you I read the funniest comment? in reference to Eminem, and it makes me, it made me die, like, within, like, the first two sentences. Sure. Let's hear it. <clears throat> you sound like DJ Vlad TV. Eminem is a guest in hip-hop. No, he's evicting and kicking out those who hate the family members of the, the house of hip-hop and the mumble without, too. As far as I'm concerned, Eminem is black. He has done so much for the house of hip-hop. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't even read that with a straight face now. I don't blame you. And people still shit on him and forgot without him, Dr. Dre was going to lose everything and risk his career on Eminem. And Eminem shows respect for him and vice versa because rap probably, if not for Eminem, would have faded away after NWA parted ways. Eminem was hip hop resurrection. And you could also say. Hip hop savior. He brought new light, inspired logic, hops, and basically all you hear today. And without him, no white boy would have a chance. So you wouldn't have no little Zan, bad baby, or little peep, MGK, Mac, Lethal, Mac Miller. Eminem inspired almost four generations of rap. Admit or not, everyone has at least heard one Eminem song. They like Joyner Lucas was inspired by Eminem. Game was 50 was and signed by him too. Yellow Wolf, Brian Upchurch, Adam Calhoun, Struggle Demon, John Merkels, Tom McDonald, Futuristic Mises, and a few others who stop hate one of rap's grandfathers with an apostrophe S. You know, maybe, maybe Nas was right this whole time. Maybe hip-hop is just dead. <laughs> and you know what? Good. <laughs> <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, Eminem is black. It has to be one of the greatest hip-hop comments I've heard <laughs> in a bit. <laughs> I lost my shit at Eminem no, is black. Maybe Nas had a point. <laughs> God. You're right, Eminem did, I'm not Eminem, Nas did have a point. Gay Z and Cockafella. Thank you for coming to my- Let's put some other random quotes I can think of. When asked how well he can take spicy food, Action Bronson responds with, I think I'd do pretty good. Some might actually call me a Mexican. I think about that one a lot. <laughs> Understandable. 
As far as I'm concerned, Eminem is black. <laughs> You're not gonna get over that? I don't know. God damn. <clears throat> Ravioli. I want to sit in a hot tub. Oh, God, my throat. I forgot the amount of tedious work this is. Come, come. Hmm? I'm a the wizard.
Master Shadow is asking if you're a wizard. Not yet. That's still something I'll never get over, though. What? Well, everyone was, like, so upset to find out that uh, J.K. Rowling is a turf, and I'm just like, I've known this shit for a while. Yeah, it's like bit we bit. Now, my favorite tweet was, like, y'all find out that fucking J.K. Rowling's uh, kind of a low-key bigot, like, every two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I've been a long time fan of Harry Potter. You don't think I know that JK is kind of a fucking bigot? <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right. God, I want meat. I want some fucking steak. Good steak, man. Oh. I can't go out. <laughs> Why not? Oh, because I'm sick. Order steak then. I ain't fucking doing that. Not sure how you expect to have steak. No. Well, I mean, just because I want steak doesn't mean I can get it right now. Sometimes you don't get what you want by daughters. <clears throat> Try, not trying hard enough. Oh. That's fair.
Mm-hmm. <laughs>
instead of you? Nah. Got my own things to take care of. Mario. Luigi.
Hmm? Just complaining about how many cards there are I have to do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> complaining about the tedious group.
Hmm? Don't worry about it. <clears throat> yeah, after the stream, I am going to take a long nap. I'm going to get up, and then I'm going to do a shit ton of schoolwork. You know what's crazy? You want to know what's actually been keeping me from sleeping? It's not my throat. It's it's that my strep throat makes it so that when I'm sleeping, I am really hot. I don't know why. But, like, my body's just sweaty. It's shit. That new headset can't come soon enough. Yeah. <laughs> Don't have any music on right now. That makes it even worse. <laughs> You have a sandwich that's weird. What's weird about it, Hulk? It's a funny sandwich. You're a funny sandwich. The fuck? Fucking <clears throat>
rules are simple. No hacks, no tricks, no fucking <laughs> extra things. God. Also, wall three is a sheep. Yeah. No prob. <clears throat> I thought you said I was a sheep. No. <laughs> anyone is a sheep. If anyone is the sheep, it's the one that goes on Twitter just to uh just to type ba. That's true. Of course, that being said, I'm, uh, I'm not a sheep either, and I'm not a furry, despite popular belief. D denial. Not a persona. But if you know what, I don't, I don't, I don't think, I don't think that's a valid argument. Me. Not having a persona is just part of the denial.
Oh man. Magic the cards. Uh, so I guess to explain, well, if you haven't seen previous streams, I uh, spent time doing this. Uh, generally, I made an old card game back in like 2011 or so. And then by like I think 20. Was it 2013? 2015? Somewhere around that that ballpark. Um, I found this program called uh, Lackey CCG, which allowed me to turn that card game into something that other people could play. This went on for a while until the few people who played it stopped playing it because the game was stupidly broken. Like, it was not well play-tested, a lot of the cards were not really well thought out, uh, you know, things like that. And I have wanted to sit there and repurpose this card game for quite some time, and I've done it a couple of times here and there, but nothing that I ever stayed concrete or got finished. Um, so I'm just kind of doing that now. Swag. I'll be right back and then take care of something just real quick. <laughs> All right. Who knows, maybe when I actually finish it, people will want to play it. Maybe. Possibly. <laughs> I made a game somewhere this century, sure. Hmm. Might need to rethink this this choice. <laughs> Is it like Magic the Gathering though? No. It's got aspects, but it's not. It's not like magic, no. Oh, that was a mistake. Hmm. Got myself a granola bar. Uh, a Nature Valley Oats and Honey granola bar. I thought it would be uh, good to have it as a snack or a breakfast. I think I regret this decision. It's kind of, I don't know if I like this. No comments on your sandwich? Um, I have no fucking idea how, what I say about that. But no, this game is not like Magic the Gathering. There's no, like, mana system or anything like that. Um. In fact, if anything, it's sim- it's- In fact, if anything- it, it, Okay, it, it takes a little bit of everything. Like, there's a little bit of Pokemon in there, a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh, a little bit of Chaotic, a little bit of Magic. I tried taking from a lot of different areas. But, considering who I am, and considering how much of each game I played, there's obviously a lot more taken from Yu-Gi-Oh, if anything. Um, just because that's, you know, that's the game I played with. That's the game I played the most. So... That's the game that I understand the most.
Why? No. I will say, um, the reason why typically card games fall apart after some point in time is because of power creep. It is entirely power creep. I guess it'd be a point where a game needs to start experimenting to stay fresh for players. And they'll start experimenting with new things. And, uh, they'll, uh, they'll throw out something that's, like, new or different. And it typically breaks the game. Because of power creep, or, uh, you know, maybe it's just a bad idea, or maybe it was just a bad idea on paper, you know? Like, every card game goes through an experimental phase. Hell, mine did. And that's what killed it. I sometimes feel like I'm being too rough on my chair, but I, I don't really know what I'm doing until it's too late. No, mine's just a, uh, an office chair. It was like a $30 office chair is all it was.
Uh, but I still have, um, some old noodle stuff. So, where is it? Here? Is it? Where is it? What was this? That was a card game idea, I guess. What the fuck was that? I was looking through all the stuff yesterday. I didn't see that. Hmm. Hmm. Is this it? Welcome to Lackey. It's the one with the... Yeah, it is. Okay. So yeah, I still have a bunch of my, like, older stuff here. All, like, 1,000 cards. There was a lot of time and effort spent on this. There was a lot of heart into this. Shame it was such a bad game. Okay, it wasn't bad on premise. It was bad in execution. So, the general, the general idea was, uh, you would draw three cards, you would start with three cards, turn player draws a card, um, and then you had your monsters and your skills, you could only play one monster and one skill a turn. At least that was the general idea. That's how the game started. It was a really slow game, but it worked. You know, you had to have a 60 card deck, no more, no less. Um, you have up to five copies of a card in a deck. Um, which is a lot more different than most others. Um, you can only play one fighter, one skeleton. Which I got from, I think, the dot hat game. The dot hat card game. <clears throat> and, um, with that said, you can have up to three doodles on the field and up to three active skills on the field. On the you had a thousand life. Uh, energy, I don't even entirely remember why that's there. I guess it was just because I never did get rid of it. Um, you know, you had the ability to have one yield card, and then, uh, you had your equipment cards, which could go on to, uh, cards such as so, like, you would overlap it, so people could see, like, what had what, uh, Like what had what equipped. Um, you had like equipped or uh, what was it? Clock cards. Yeah, the game sounds are a little loud. I can't really do very much there. I can turn down Lackey, but that's really about it. Clock cards. Basically, uh, you would treat 
two you treat two uh monsters or two fighters or whatever as equip cards to one and it would basically eat the cards um you had jeez three draw power cards in a row Uh, what else do we have? Uh, you had Invos. Invos, basically, so as much as you could have, like, three monsters on the field at a time, right? Three monsters, three skills, what have you. The reason I didn't have anything marked on the, the field is because of Invos. Invos swarms, what they did was you could just kind of just play as many as you wanted. It didn't really matter. Kind of like a fusion or a sacrifice. A sacrifice, yeah. So, like, yeah. Invos, you could kind of just, like, swarm the field with them. Hence the Invo swarm uh, archetype. But, uh... Yeah, you basically play as many as you wanted. The downside here to this, though... Like, you, you might think, oh, that sounds really broken. Um... Yes and no. Uh, in particular, the thing here with Invos, uh, was as much as you could have, like, you could have as many as you wanted, but you couldn't really do anything with them unless you had a card that specifically said otherwise. Um, they, they could not attack, they could not activate their effects, they were just kind of gunk up on your, on your field, that were just there. They just were there. Whatever. You know? Um. So unless you had a specific card that allowed Invos to activate their effects, you could just play Invos for the fuck of it, you know? They didn't really do anything otherwise. Um. Let's see. Oh yeah, we did have like a version of fusions. Uh we did have like a version of fusions, which basically basically your Yu-Gi-Oh fusions. They can only be played using the effect of a of a card that specifically said you could fuse. Uh combination is this game's polymerization, basically. Yeah, these cards were basically useless unless you had a specific ability that allowed them to activate. So that was the that was the drawback with invos. Yeah, you had fusions, which yeah, as I said, they're basically another monster type, um, kind of ripped from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh specifically. Took a lot of inspiration off of that. Um. Let's see. You had summonables. Summonables were another type of uh of monster. Uh they could only be summoned with a certain skill. Like they could only be played using a uh, like a, a specific skill card that said, "Hey, you could play this summonable from your hand." You know. Like, hey, you know, you can't summon this card by normal means unless you had a specific skill. Basically, very similar to fusions, kind of, in a way. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever played Yu-Gi-Oh, but think Rituals. Because um, those are the most common uh, versions. I know other games have them as well, so it's not just Yu-Gi-Oh Rit. But, uh... Rituals are the ones that I can, like, draw a lot of comparisons to. And typically people know what I'm talking about when I bring up ritual monsters. Uh, you had three car- or you had, uh, three monster types. You have, uh, doodles, creatures, and, uh, gods. Or as they will later be called, deities. It's like, yeah, you had your, your creature. You had your doodle, you had your god, and typically they were, it's like doodles were more human 
creatures were just whatever. And gods typically had a higher attack than anything else in the game. If you ran a god deck, typically your goal was just to overrun your opponent with attacks. Um, so, uh, that, that was the general idea there. Um, with, uh, and that's, that's the same with any monster type, so, well, hi, Emma. Yeah, that's the same thing with any of, uh, any of the card types. It's the same thing with Quops. It's the same thing with uh, Summitables. the same thing with um, Fusions. Invos didn't have any of that. Invos were just kind of Invos. They were just there, as I said. Invos are just a special kind of card. Um, with skills, you had... Uh, with skills, you had single-use skills, repeated skills use skills, and, uh, summonable skills, uh, wherever they might be. I saw one. Yeah. So yeah, you had, uh, repeated use skills, indicated by, like, a, uh, an arrow. You had your summonable skills, which were used to summon the summonable, uh, monsters. And then you had the single-use skills. So, it was all, like, it was very, like, planned out. It, 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 like, it knew what it wanted to be. Problem is, well, the game was never playtested. Um, so allow me to introduce you to Planetoids. Okay, that's actually a really bad hand. Surprisingly, I managed to get a bad hand. Wow! I'm like, breaking hard here. It's okay. This, this, this deck is not as broken as the other one I'm gonna show off. But, uh... Jesus. I'm not drawing anything that I'm supposed to. <sighs> okay, never mind. I guess I won't show you this deck. Because this one is not showing... This one's not cooperating. Let me show you Zoe then. Zodes are very consistently but like, very, very consistently busted. So, um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna start by using my one summon on Gemini. Gemini's effect. Actually, no, I can't do that. Let me start by using my, my one summon on Taurus. Taurus's effect. To choose two skill cards in your deck, Add them to your hand. So we'll do... Zodageddon. And Zwarm. We're gonna add these two to hand. Then we're gonna play Zodagen. Zodagen's effect. Destroy one Zod, then special summon two Zods from your deck. Target Taurus. Destroy Taurus. Summon Libra and Scorpio. <clears throat> Libra's effect is basically what broke this game. Stuff like this. So, when you typically have the ability to play one monster and up to three on the field at a turn, right? Uh, at, at a time. Cards like Libra become really bad ideas, but also kind of a necessity in some instances. Libra's effect effectively allows you to get around both those limitations. So you can play more than one monster a turn, and you can play 
more than three on the field at a time. This was kind of a necessity if I wanted the game to get any further. This was kind of the experimental phase as I was talking about earlier. You know, every game needed that experimental phase to try to reach out and test the waters of what was good and what wasn't. And, uh, Zode Libra was that experimental phase. Zode Libra was that one of those many experimental cards. And it single-handedly broke the game. So Libra, we're ba basically just now have the ability to play whatever, whenever, uh, and we're gonna just kind of win. Uh, Scorpio's effect is every time a Zode is special played, so played by an effect, I inflict 50 damage to my opponent. Reminder, we have a thousand health. So now watch as I rake up this, rake up this damage really, really fast, and kind of just show why this experimental phase didn't work. Okay, so now that I can play anything that I want, we'll play Gemini. Gemini's effect. Bring one from the grave, bring one from the deck. So we're going to... Uh, we're going to play a, a Taurus from the grave and a Scorpio from the deck. Since they were both played by the effect of... Or, by an effect, they were both summoned by the effect. That's two instances of 50 to your opponent. Taurus's effect again. Two cards from the deck, into the hand, shuffle the deck. Scorpio's effect will go off when we get to that point. Now we're going to activate Zwarm. Zwarm's effect. Target three doodles in your deck, special play them, and if you discard one card, this card does not play as your, or this card does not count as your played skill. Not that that matters anyway, we have a Libra. So we're going to go in. And we're just going to special play a Gemini. We're going to special play a Taurus. And we're going to do... Do I not have Sagittarius? I don't have Sagittarius. Sagittarius is actually an okay card. We're just going to do... Actually, you know what? No. Just do three Taurus. Doesn't matter. Just chuck out Tauruses. And the effect of the Scorpios go off. Since we played... Three off the bat. That's 300 damage to my opponent. Three instances of, uh, of 100. Taurus's effect. We're just gonna get a, a Zero Zode, a Zoda Geddon, and a Zwarm. Add those to hand. Or actually, no, we have to do six. So we're getting an Effect Stopper, a Coin Jar, doesn't really matter what else we get, to be honest. Just get six cards from our deck, add them to hand, shuffle deck. Um, uh, let's see. We're gonna activate Zero Zode, and uh, Zero Zode is destroy all Zode monsters on your side of the field, and your opponent takes damage equal to their attack. They all have a hundred attack. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred damage to test a dummy. And, um, game. They're at negative 200 health. And we had to, we used 11 cards to do that. This game was never play tested. Play bested. Oh shit, you're still here. Yeah. I kind of forgot you were here. I thought you would laugh. But yeah. My dad. Yeah, no, so if you guys wondered why I'm trying to revitalize this game, there you go. 
and I know what to do differently. Mm -hmm. I know what to add, what to not do, and maybe what rules to change and stuff like that. Although I imagine a ban list, uh, if like I was to run tournaments of the other <clears throat> version, the ban list could probably get rid of a lot of the bigger problems, but, um, <laughs> let's be honest, would anyone want to actually play the older version of this game? <laughs> the answer is, uh, no. Is the older version more broken? I just showed you the older version. That's the one with all the zodes and shit. <laughs> I tried showing off planetoids too, but those didn't cooperate with me. The, there is a slight downside to to the planetoids basically being that uh, if you don't draw Earth, your deck doesn't work. <laughs> Oof. So. <coughs> <laughs> I wasn't able to show off how broken that deck is. It is a very glass cannon. Oh, my phone's in here. Well, this is probably scam number. I'll pick it up real quick. Yeah, it was. Yeah, as I said, nobody would want to fucking play that broken fucking shit. <laughs> it is garbage, Jeff. <clears throat> Guy Fieri. That's just another way of saying Mario. Isn't it? Rachel? What? Sit Guy Fieri. Like, is that just another way of saying Mario? 
Oh no, I'm watching a video with Guy Fieri in it. Oh. <laughs> well, there's just another way of saying Mario. Like, well, I mean, I guess it could be. Finish up this row and then I'll probably call it a stream. Okay, go. Then I have to start looking for someone to play. I think Shadow is still on. He's still on. Hell yeah. Wild Arms. Well, I'm not. I'm not finished with this uh, row. So when I get finished with this row, I'll move. I'll, I'll move you guys over. What? Oh, I was talking to my chat. Okay. Okay.
Zanzibar. Hmm? Lovely to myself. Mm hmm All right, just gonna see you guys off then. Uh, take care, everyone.